Hey there guys, how you doing? Today I just came up with an idea in order to make your desk look prettier. Actually, I'm just kidding. We are going to design a uh, pencil holder for your desk and I am gonna use uh, very simple techniques just in case if you want to redesign it with my tutorial or uh, even if you want the uh, 3D file of it, I will leave the link down below. You can download it and maybe 3D print it for yourself. So let's see what we're gonna design. So yeah, uh, actually, first of all, we need to uh, design a pencil model or pen model, or just in case have something similar. So most of the pencils or pens are uh, something like six to eight millimeters in diameter. So we are trying to make it 10 millimeters in diameter in order to uh, model our pencil. So uh, we will create a simple sketch with uh, a circle in the center of our sketch. And we are going to extrude that design and like, maybe we can have 130 millimeters so yeah this is our sample of any kind of pen or pencil and just uh, it's a sample and it's not don't worry about it we're gonna see the actual design so yeah in the body section we are going to move our body off the center and give it some kind of angle like 15 degrees and yeah this is our design it's very simple and it's actually very understandable so we are uh, we are uh, creating a pattern of our design we need to uh, select our body and go to the create section and pattern and circular pattern so like this you will create a very simple circular pattern so <clears throat> in order to uh, have the design maybe you can change the uh, amount of pencils or pens it's very optional for you maybe you are going to use 12 pencils like standard or maybe 100 pencils i don't know just uh, for me just like 20 pen uh, pencils are kind of normal just 20 pencils and pens and stuff like this and it's gonna be something like this we are going to change it to the perspective view in order to have a real life view of our design so that's that simple so let's move it back and just see the much more uh, better view so yeah that's it we are going to actually create a sketch and create a circle which is very neat for us and other circle 
uh, actually we are uh, creating two circles in order to make some basement for our design and uh, some kind of holder for the pencils so like this we are going to extrude this design to maybe like 35 millimeters and we need to change it to new body uh, just in case remember if you uh, want to uh, create new body uh, with the different bodies inside of it uh, you know you have to use this little uh, section that creates new body uh, you can cut the body with that shape or make it join or uh, whatever you want actually at this point we need to create new body so yeah like this so as you can see it's a bit off uh, our new body is a bit off so we need to yeah move it to the move it lower a bit and like this so yeah and yeah so as you can see if just in case i remove one of bodies you can see there's no holes or there's no uh, no section in order to hold the our pen our pencils or our pens or whatever you you're gonna put in there and we need to make hole in this section there's a very simple technique in order to do this uh, i will tell you uh, you need to actually use the combine tool and use the body that you wanna make holes on it you wanna bore a hole on it uh, and as a target body and you're gonna have tool bodies like this you will select tool bodies and here comes the magical moment actually you need to create cut rather than join or uh, whatever you see in the section so you need to cut every single one but in order to uh, have the old bodies, uh, you need to keep your tools because you need the old bodies in order to have uh, a very simple view of your holder. So I'm going to click on OK and hide one of the bodies. And as you can see, very simple technique and very basic technique you could uh, bore a very angled hole on your body so yeah let's just a bit spice it up let's see what we can do in here we need uh, we need to actually uh, in my opinion it's gonna be much prettier with some fillet tool and let's see like five millimeters on the bottom and yeah like this so and maybe we can use chamfer or or I have a much better idea actually let's see we can make it angular like this very simple technique you can uh, select the face you want to angle it and uh, use the M on your keyboard and just it brings up move and copy tool and you can angle it however you like maybe like this or like maybe 10 degrees is much better than the five degrees so yeah that's it and again the fillet tool we are going to use fillet 
maybe five like like the bottom 